Hi everyone, welcome back to my allotment channel. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you are new. It's so quiet here today. I think I'm one of the only ones here, but it's such a beautiful morning. Um, I wanted to do some filming because I don't know how long the blue sky is going to last, to be honest, guys. I'm in London, in the UK. Who knows, this could be summer, so let's make the most of it. I came here yesterday and got quite a bit done, so I don't actually have that many jobs to do today. Um, I just want to check on a couple of things, but I thought I'd just show you a little bit of the allotment plot because it's so beautiful and it's so quiet and there's so many birds and there's no plumbing building work going on and there's no football stadium going on so it's just so nice and quiet so I'm just going to film a little bit of the plot and I hope you enjoy it. I know I just filmed some of the dying daffodils but there is something quite beautiful about the daffodils dying back and it, maybe it's like the representation that um, spring sort of almost through, I mean it's not through but you know what I mean, when the daffodils start to die you know that you're getting into a new territory, a new season, so there is something quite beautiful about the daffodils dying and then the tulips coming out, it's almost like we've reached the, the pinnacle of spring, so I thought I'd leave that in. <laughs> I'm not going to pick my daffodil heads because I'm going to allow them to set seed if they want to um, and just get smaller daffodils next year but more of them um, because then they can sort of do all the work for me. There's so many birds here today I'm wondering if I'm going to capture a bird in my pond actually that'd be quite nice to see a bird using my pond. At least some kind of creature would use my pond because I don't seem to like it very much. I can see that old foxy's been here, or maybe a cat. I don't know if it's the bloody fox or not. It might be, or it might be a cat. But there's these little, um, like, you know, holes everywhere. That's what he does. There's another one over here in my path. Um, so, definitely something's been here. Um, luckily, they've not trodden anything important. But somebody said that they might be smelling mice. Like the fox might smell the ma mouse and then try and find it. Um, and it's true that a mouse has been eating my peas, I think. These are the peas that I sowed in this pot. Oh, God. And uh, once again, they've been eaten. There's these little holes here where something's dug and eaten them all. And these things here, these are my spring onions coming up that I had in it before. I'm wondering if it's just best just to leave spring onions in here now, to be honest, because they all seem to be coming up really well. Yeah, I thought it was a squirrel, but now I think it might be a mouse. A lot of people said that mouse like to eat peas. So what I'm going to do, because I do want to harvest peas, the tops of peas for salad, because I think it sounds really nice. Um, what I'm going to do is start my seeds off at home until they germinate and then plant them out once they've germinated. Because apparently if, if a pea seed has germinated, the mice leave it alone. So what do you know? There we go. But in here, I've got so many spring onions coming up now. I think it's best just to leave spring onions. I mean, they fought so hard to come up. I sort of feel like it's bad not to let them live now, you know? Any plant that works that hard deserves a chance in my books, I think. Especially at my plot. Not everything has much of a chance. I need to have a bit of fight about you if I plant you. Alright, there we go. Let's knock that back on. Just to stop anything digging in here and taking a big old poo. The only big major job that I've got left to do at my plot that I've left and left and put off is to dig out that last bed at the end. And I think sweet corn's going to go in there. But looking at it now, I don't think it's big enough for sweet corn. Not that many have germinated, but I'm... Um, Oh yeah, some of my, ger my, some of my sweet corn have actually germinated this year. It's the first year that I've ever managed to germinate sweet corn. That's not saying that they're going to live much longer, but you know, I have hope. Um, maybe the sweet corn should go in this bed instead, because this bed's a bit bigger, and I could have sunflowers next to it in here, sweet corn and sunflowers, and then that could be courgettes. Yeah, I think that's better. 
like I said, there's not much of a plan to my plot this year. I'm just sort of doing it as I go. I've re-sown some sunflowers because my other ones got eaten by slugs and snails or some kind of bug or they just didn't work for some reason. Um, so I've re-sown them and what I've done is I've put them on the wood chip and then put this glass pane over it to help with a bit of warmth. But being on the wood chip means that slugs and snails don't like it on here because obviously this is like a natural slug snail deterrent. So I think it's much better to germinate my seeds on the actual paths than in the beds. And thinking about that, I think it might be quite good having wood chip around all the beds because it's sort of a natural slug and snail deterrent, isn't it? So I think that's quite good, but they're doing well now. These are the two that I thought had died. That one's, that looks really happy and healthy. This one not quite so healthy, but it's still springy. That's a good sign. This one's germinating. I can see him coming up. Excellent. Um, I have faith that most of them will probably come up. I'm a digger, by the way. I like to dig in my seeds. Let's see who's germinated. Oh, yeah, look, he's germinated. There he is. Excellent. Covering back up. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I have really good, good high hopes of these sunflowers, and I've planted two in each of them now. So, because I was a bit cocky before, I just planted one, but now I've planted two. Um, and I'll just try and make all of them live. So how many is that then? I've got one, two, and then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eight, four, fourteen. Fourteen sunflowers. Yeah, it's quite a lot. I do like sunflowers. I think this bed's better for sunflowers than in sweet corn and sunflowers in this bed because they work quite well together. Don't judge me for this guys, and don't copy me, for the love of God, don't copy anything I do at this plot unless it, unless you see it physically work. I'm going to dig up one of my dahlias and see if they're alive, because I've just got this horrible feeling that they've just died under the soil, and if they have, I want time to be able to go and buy a new one. So I'm going to go dig it up and have a look, but like I said, don't copy this, this is mental. Right, I'm going to dig up the one that I think has the least chance of being alive, which is this little one on the end. And my logic being, that if he's alive and growing, then the others probably are. So I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to dig it up. Don't judge me too bad. Hopefully I won't kill him in the process. Nobody panic. Oh, he's got some roots. Because this is the one I sort of broke when I put him in. But look, he's got some roots growing. That's a good thing, right? That is a good thing. He feels quite healthy. All right, good. He's growing. So if he's growing, I think the other ones probably are. Because they look, they were healthier than this bulb. Brilliant. Or tuber, whatever you call them. Right, let's whack him back under the ground quick. Before he notices. Everything's all right. Nothing happened. Relax. Just dig up a gladioli as well. We might as well go the whole hog down, dig everything bloody up. Let's dig up a gladioli bulb and have a look. Oh, we might as well dig it all bloody up. That's a rock. That's another rock. Just want to see if you're alive. Relax. Oh yes, he's alive. Look at that. Loads of roots. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he's great. Brilliant. Right, quick whack him back in. In you go. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Alright, great. That is excellent news. They're alive. For now. If I keep leaving them alone, we might actually get some flowers. <laughs> I can't help it. Most people grow them in pots and they can physically see the magic happening. But because I whack it under the ground so bleed and early, I can't see what's going on. So... That's put my mind at ease at least. Well, I'll leave them alone now, I promise. Where 
these bulbs are in the ground there's lots of tiny tiny little weeds coming up um, see if I can film them can you see they're really really tiny they're all over this I might be tempted normally just to leave them but from experience I know that if I leave those bloody little tiny tiny seedling weeds they will turn into massive massive weeds and I have a massive problem on my hand when everything really gets going so I'm going to try and keep on top of it this year we'll see how long that lasts but <laughs> I'm sure I say the same thing every year but there we go right There's so many of them, it's like a weed epidemic. There's hundreds of them. I can't police this. There's so many and they're so tiny. I know they're gonna get so bleeding big. Oh God, I think it's because I've dug so much in the soil. I think I am just gonna mulch it and then not dig in it. See if that helps. Right, okay, we'll have to do that because this is out of control already. It's only April. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny slice of my plot today. Like I said, there's not much for me to do. I'm going out this afternoon to buy some zinnia seeds because I accidentally exploded the packet at home. I just opened it and they just like exploded everywhere. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go and buy some more. Um, and then hopefully I'll be back with another vlog this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did subscribe to my channel, there's lots more where this came from. I'm going to be doing, doing lots and lots of updates showing you my plot. Just trying to film it on the most beautiful days as well because I just didn't want to miss out on this gorgeous blue sky day. Hope you're all well and I will see you in my next vlog. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.